He spent years building. His son-in-law's dying. The 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 the, the, the father of his grandchildren, and he's yeah. destroying NXT and firing. We said, wait a minute, bro. Hold on. What is going on, everybody? Dr. Chris Featherstone here for yet another episode of Writing with russo that's an alliteration ladies and gentlemen say that very quick 10 times and put in the comment section put on the comment section if you were able to say that successfully very nice very nice see the 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 the, the biceps the the biceps of steel from vince russo is for all the haters out there who continue to doubt the fact that like it or love it <clears throat> this thing right here that right there you see that right there that right there is the right right there is is an, is the 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 reason why this what i'm pointing at right now was won by him the wcw yes. world that big old belt right there where i got my yes. finger at right there that, that right there was because of those biceps 100 percent, man <laughs> yes vince russo man how are you tonight my i am all right doctor how are you I'm blessed, man. Uh, some some crazy back problems, man. Uh, uh, still going through some some back stuff, and uh, I'll get it together, man. It was pretty tough today, but uh, I was able to still grind in the gym. Um, you know, I don't let my back problems take me away from uh, from grinding. Got to got to stay grinding, man. Got to grind, I, baby. Got to keep yeah, that grind gym, going. Absolutely, gym is such a relief to my back issues, and it's such a relief to a full day i mean it had eight hours of therapy today so it's that's wow. it's a it's a great reset to clear my head and de-escalate eight hours of of, of therapy uh yeah. some intense therapy man it's a i get paid the big buck big bucks for for a reason man it is uh not for the weak at heart to to be a therapist like myself so, oh i can't know, imagine bro i can't imagine indeed, yes indeed so there is a uh, an amazingly hot topic going on right now that we talked a little bit about on the Legion of Raw, but uh, like we do with a lot of uh, things with writing with Russo, we put a little bit more meat on the bones, sometimes a lot of more meat on the bones because there's certain things that deserve more meat on the bones when it comes to uh, hot topics and getting a little bit more in-depth opinion on it. Uh, and again, it's an opinion. This is not factual this is what we believe about certain things and so we're going to express it because that's what we get uh assigned to do here so of course if you haven't guessed it already we're going to talk about sasha banks and naomi but as we do in typical dr chris and vince russo fashion we're going to put a bit of a spin on it uh of course he is the writer of writers i'm a psychology doctor and a journalist and so we have an interesting take on certain things and we will express it as such. So with that being said, we're going Before to Before we get talk to that though, Chris, I do yes. want to say this as a plug for Russo's brand.com. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm reading all the headlines today. I'm reading all this headlines today about the shocking Stephanie McMahon news. Mm. Okay. And I want to talk, I just want to say Let's real do quickly, Let's do it. bro on Russo's brand.com. We've been discussing this for three months. We've been discussing with nobody else has been discussing. Stephanie has not been wearing a wedding ring for a long time. And we've showed pictures of her not wearing a mother a wedding ring as of Mother's Day. She put out a picture of her not wearing a wedding ring. Then we looked at Triple H's interview with Stephen AK, where literally from Triple H, he was on his deathbed. So we're like, okay, wait a minute, bro. So the dude's literally on his deathbed in a very critical condition. And his father-in-law, while he's on a deathbed, is completely devastating a company which he spent years building his son-in-law's dying the 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 the, 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 the father of his grandchildren and he's yeah. destroying nxt and firing we said wait a minute bro hold on mm. with stephanie not wearing a wedding ring 
and them disbanding everything Hunter did with NXT, there's more here than meets the eye. Then, bro, we were getting intel that there might have been a extramarital affair. Mm. And we're like, okay, now let's let's put these pieces together here. We've been talking about this for three months. So now, today, when Stephanie says, yeah, I'm stepping down from my duties because of family, and everybody's shocked, bro, if you stop worrying about what you're, what, how many stars you're rating fake matches, <laughs> you will see this other stuff that's real. Yeah. There's other real, and, and bro, let me segue to Naomi. Because here's what's very real about that, bro. We got to get real here, Chris. Mm -hmm. And Chris, I think, I think, I think there is a little race issue involved. And mm. I'll tell you why I think that. First of all, bro, if anybody understands the wrestling business, if Naomi walks out, okay, that heat is going to get passed along to her husband. That yeah. heat Boy. is going to get passed along to the Usos. So that tells you. Similar her to husband, Miro and Lana. Yeah, her yeah. husband her husband backed her. There's no question about that, bro. She was unhappy that day. They had a long conversation. He backed her because he, he knows, man, bro, if she does this, this, this is going to come back at me. He, he knows that. Mm -hmm. Now, bro, my theory is this, and I tend to agree with it. Um, Naomi, bro, I always get confused. She's married to Jimmy, right? She's married to Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. Bro, Naomi is married to Jimmy. She's African-American. He's Samoan, I guess, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, bro, we have carried on and on and on and on and on about Naomi, you and I, putting her over to the moon from day oh, one. Yeah. Bro, I have said pound for pound, she may very well be the greatest athlete on that show. I've yep. said this pound Great. for pound. Yep. Okay, so we've got a husband and wife. She's working together at the same company. She's an African-American. They've been there for a very long time. They've both busted their rear ends. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of a sudden, bro, now you got Montez Ford and Bianca Belair. Mm -hmm. Also African-American, but a younger version of Naomi. Mm. Now, by Bianca Belair and her husband walk in the door... And now, literally, in a matter of a blink, Bianca Belair is reaching heights that Naomi, you know, reached for a cup of coffee. You yeah. know, when we, we both knew, bro, when we when she won the title, they weren't going to do anything with her, and they didn't. Mm -hmm. So now, when you look at it from that perspective, I I don't know, bro. If if, if I'm Naomi, I'm a little bit upset. Because I, I gave you my all. And, bro, I watched enough episodes of Total Divas to know she loves this business. I mean, you know, when there were one-on-ones with her and Jimmy, her yeah. passion for the business came out. Oh, so yeah. this girl looks great. She's a great athlete. That glow gimmick, the entrance, all that stuff looked great. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, almost like this younger version of her, Kind of comes in and catapults her. Mm. Now, I, I, I got to tell you, if that's me, I, I got an issue with that. I, mm. I, 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 I at least want to know why. You mm. need to, to explain. What, what does Bianca Belair have that I don't have? I at least want an explanation. Mm. So, so the reality of it is she had this conversation with Jimmy. Jimmy backed her 100% knowing Man, bro, this is going to come down on me. This may affect our push. You know, this may affect what they do with us. But obviously, bro, his wife had very strong convictions to make Jimmy say, you know what? If you do this, I'm going to back you 100%. Mm. So, well, I would yeah, even I would, say, <clears throat> yeah, go yeah, ahead. I just don't think, Chris, I just don't think it was a spur of the moment thing. I, I really don't. I think... This has been something that's been festering for a little while. Chris, you are a psychologist. You know darn well, because this happened to me at, w at WWE. This happened to me. Bro, when, when th you know, it, it starts with things starting to bother you. Mm -hmm. 
then they start bothering you more then you don't like going to work and chris you start looking for that one thing that that out you start and, and to me it was vince mcmahon telling me to hire an annie that's all i needed and it was bye bye but it it built towards that where now you're looking for that one thing that's what this sounds like to me this doesn't look like on this one day they walked into the building and didn't like what they were doing i think there was a lot more to it than that.